Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's get started with cake up crafts. First I clean the cake cups and then I cut the rims of them. Cleaning the cake cups is not one of the easiest things to do and if you don't want to clean them, you can use paper cups. I saw some at Dollar Tree. After the rims were cut, I poured them all in the big box and then spray painted them with the white primer paint. And now we are ready to start our first craft. I'm making the flowers with the cake cups, so I'm cutting petals here. Now you can see why I had to cut the rims on the cups. If they were there, then it would be almost impossible for me to make uniform cuts here. Once the petals were cut, I pulled them backward and pressed them so that they can hold their shape. If I didn't, then they will spring back to their original position. As you can see, I cut two flowers and then I was gluing one flower into another in such a way that the petals will be offset. Uh, it did not work perfectly here for this flower, but I wanted the petals to be offset so that the flower will look fuller and prettier. And here comes the Jinko Bell, my favorite. That completes the center of my flower. Since the flowers are all ready, we'll set them aside for now and we'll start making the base for the flowers to stick on. To make the base, I used two cardboard rings and covered the edges of those rings with the masking tape. I wanted to make a bunch of bells hanging in the middle of my wreath. I already had the bells and embroidery floss at home, but the bells were dull gold color, so I painted them with the shiny gold paint. Once the bunch was ready, I placed it on the cardboard circle uh, and when I was happy with the placement, I stuck it in place. You will see two markings on the cardboard rings. Those markings are made so I know that I have to be between those two when I'm wrapping the cypress garland around. As you can see, it's kind of hard for me to take the whole roll of the cypress garland and wrap it on that cardboard ring. To avoid that, you can cut the garland in two to three feet pieces. Uh, so it would be easier for you to wrap it around. I think the cypress garland adds so much elegance to the wreath. I wanted to add some shine to my wreath, so I wrapped the glittery gold ribbon on it. The glitter on the ribbon does come off, but just imagine if you used a real glitter, how messy it would be. I have seen very many YouTube crafters being so neat and clean. I wish I was like them, but I'm not. So these glitter ribbons are absolutely uh, lifesavers for me. Finally, the wait is over. We can stick our flowers. Yay! <laughs> 
instead of buying a ready-made bow i decided to buy a ribbon and make the bow myself um, the advantage of that is uh, you can make more than one bow if you wanted to and also if you want to use the ribbon for the other craft you can still have it my opinion a christmas wreath is not finished until you have hanging jingle bells on it and here's our completed wreath i think it turned out beautiful what do you think this wreath cost me less than $5. Can you believe it? For the second project as well, I am using cake up flowers, but these flowers are single layer and the petals are pointed. Later in this video, some of you might notice that the paint on the flowers has peeled off. Let me tell you, spraying these flowers was a mistake. For some reason, the paint did not uh, sit on this material. So if you try this craft, please don't spray the flowers, okay? <laughs> now you can see why I made the cuts on the base of flowers because I wanted to insert the lights through them. And here's our lovely lighted garland. This is such a quick and easy project, don't you think so? For the third project as well, I have used cake up flowers. These are similar to the flowers I made for the wreath. But these flowers are single layer, the petals are shorter, but they are more in number. And since these are similar, I did not show how to make them again here. Once the flowers were ready, I hung the cypress garland on the mantel. And now, I stuck the flowers on garland. Here's completed one. Doesn't it look gorgeous? If you would like to see more of my trash to treasure videos, please click on one of these.